What's the super dropping? It's, like it's giving very much fruity. The flavor. Let's get this roast to cook it. Hello guys, welcome back to this cluster of a channel. Do I normally post drag race? Yes. Should I post more content related to drag race? Yes. But I am not, because the Lucimble album dropped and I am losing my mind. So you are going to suffer through an album review of the Lucimble's first mini album. Remember that this is all my opinion. If you want to talk about your own opinion, make your own video. We will not be fighting on this glorious day. Now, let's get into the sleigh. Track 1. Searching for their friends. It's cute and intro. It's letting us know we're about to experience the sleigh of the century, which we do not long after. There are some pretty synths being used and after the ending of the sensitive music video, the title makes me emotional. 6 out of 10. Track 2. Sensitive. Obviously, I watched the sensitive music video before listening to the rest of the album. I knew from the teasers that the concept in music was going to absolutely serve, but I wasn't expecting what we received. This was immaculate. First, the members. Wow. Those vocals. Remember the fake ones asking who was going to sing in Loose Symbol? All of them. Bitch. Hyunjin coming for all y'all's faves. Yojin and Hyja outselling every Ivan Nujin's member. Like whoa. And we got two Vivi courses. That tone? You're out of your mind. I haven't even gotten to Galwon. That bitch. My sister. My soulmate. The straight to my gay. My ultimate bias. Shake your body like dum de dum de dum Yes, exactly. On the video in terms of visuals but her vocals on the track ascended it to a different degree. The instrumental was incredible. I loved the soft switch ups and how the chorus progressively added more elements as the song went on. The transition out of the bridge was lovely. This is real music. Loose symbol saving pop as we speak. Outside of the song the music video was gorgeous. Give whoever shot this a raise. Lighting. Camera work. Making the girls look stunning. The most neglected members of Luna releasing this? I cried. Bitch, this is 10 out of 10. Incredible. Fuck loose and bull. I love you all. Track 3. Real World. Hyunjin punched me in the face as soon as the song started. She's an ally so it's fine. The change from the faster beat to the slower verse and then back into the faster chorus took me a little bit by surprise. But the vocals. Whoa the call is connecting. Not crazy about the instrumental in this song. It's a little disjointed for me personally. But it's not obnoxious. I just think a smoother transition into each section would be more pleasing. A lot of talk singing too which I like. But I'm not obsessed with it. We just heard the girls sing their asses off and sensitive. Would have been nice here too. 6 out of 10. Track 4. Coloring. Oh bitch, the girls have such distinct vocal colors and tones. Of course they're going to eat the song like coloring. The mixture of dreamy-like synths and notes combined with a soft vocal styling and Vivian Haiju excel during this song. Yojin also stands out so much in so many positive ways. The pop pace of all aces. She can do it all. Yojin please call me back. Anyway. I did shed some tears. It's fine. I'm fine everyone. Coloring is a pretty girl. Sung by gorgeous girls. 8 out of 10. Track 5. Newtopia. Real music. Real music. That's just talent. No other group has the range. I'm sorry they just don't. Hyunjin vocal slayer. Galwon rap legend stop playing in my sister's face. Your face could never. She owns my ass. Hyunjin saying the word Christmas sent me into a spiral. It's such a fresh start for the girls and the idea of this newtopia conveys that perfectly. The distorted vocals emphasize this so much and it truly wrecked me from the inside out. I was bopping immediately. I'm in this life for real. 9 out of 10. Track 6. Strawberry Soda. Eve writing credits shout high tea from the heavens. I've never felt so content listening to a song before. Oh my god. If you get this song you get it. Galban and I were both having a strawberry soda while listening to this don't even worry about it. It evokes so many emotions which is exemplified by the longing shifts in the vocals. Yojin on the bridge is going to be the death of me. I want a Hyunjin high note in every single song now. Give the girl her 10 she's earned it. Meow bitch. I need to see a live stage of this song like now. I want cute choreo to this. I want to sob. 9 out of 10. Track 7. Day by Day. When the song started I was like loose and will pop hunk era. But that quickly ended. But I liked the persistence garage sounding bass and beats in the background the whole time. They add an extra nymph to the song, 
especially during the chorus when Hyunjin is singing her ass off. They made Vivi say for better day to make all the gays cry and it worked. It's cheatering on ballad but doesn't cross the line because the instrumental is more experimental than you would find in other ballad type songs which makes it so impactful. The mixing of vocals on the bridge, holy fuck Alban and Vivi are going to end me. That final chorus and build up how broken bar we really come so far. We're taking this day by day loosable and I'll be there every step. 8 out of 10. Track 8, Sensitive. English. The translated song actually sounded good? Question mark. English versions can be hit or misses but this one was kind of a surf. Some offbeat sections with the translation but it was still a surf. Let's get this on a radio station like Star Come On Lesbians Let's Go. 7 out of 10. This was my album review. If you disagreed, well, can't help you here. I'm an orbit, a C. Lou, a chronic sufferer, whatever we are being called these days because I'm too deep into this to go back. They cancelled the reading live concert, so will I be seeing them live? Number. I will not. But holy shit, I wanted to so badly. So you'll enjoy it for me on their US tour. Anyway, go stream sensitive. Go buy the album. Because this is a song and album of the year. Goodbye, gays.